It's getting closer to midnight I try to get closer to you Drinking courage from my red cup now I will soon make a move So glad you're here with me. Today is another laundry video. I have some new laundry detergent and some dryer bags. We are a family of five. If you've been here before, I definitely do a lot of laundry. While I clean, I usually clean the area and then organize there on top as well. So I'll definitely be doing that. It's also sheets day, so my bed is not made, but here we are. I definitely need to take off the sheets. I need to take off the duvet right here but it's definitely a good day to be in the house and clean and do laundry so i really do not mind oh yes it is still raining you can tell i feel like every time i do a laundry video this hamper right here is full of clean folded clothes it is actually socks literally from bottom to top it is socks oh and i see a pull up that kind of made its way in there but yes Nobody has socks right now, so I definitely need to put those away. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm looking forward to getting started. I put these four bins of dirty clothes out of the laundry area here, and I'm gonna go ahead and empty the dryer. I actually had put towels in the washer and then let them set in the dryer after they were dry last night. I do that sometimes if I have a lot of laundry to do because I know that as long as they make it in the dryer and they're dry, it's okay to just stay in there until the next day because they're just towels, so it doesn't really matter if it gets wrinkled. So I went ahead and pulled those out, and now I have an empty washer and dryer for a clean start. I'm taking my duvet off of my comforter now. I absolutely love duvets. I'm not sure if you guys use one, but it's very, very nice. I have a down comforter and it attaches to the down comforter and you just take the duvet off and clean it. That way you're not taking your down comforter constantly to the dry cleaners. I am so looking forward to laying into those clean sheets tonight. That is the best feeling. They feel and smell so good. So I definitely want to get that in there first and out of the way so I know that they definitely make it to the bed no matter what. This is the new laundry detergent I am trying today. I'm excited to see how it goes so I can let you all know. This is actually Trader Joe's laundry detergent in lavender. It was so good when I came across it smelled so so good and I wanted to pick it up and give it a shot if you don't have a Trader Joe's in your area that's totally okay if you can find Ecos ECOS lavender it is amazing now it is hard to find but no matter what you can find it on Amazon so I'll go ahead and post the link in my description box below this video if you are interested you can just click on it
into those four bins because all of the clothes are just mixed up in there. And I want to organize them into four separate loads. I'm doing darks, colors, whites, and towels. I do have white towels and colored towels, but because my towels are a little bit older, they're not going to bleed with each other. So I'm just gonna throw them in as is. I'm not so concerned about it. If they were new, I definitely would not do that for sure. Now I do have a very big washer, which is nice. So my washer usually will take a whole load like you see, but the tough part is folding that huge, huge load. So while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out the inside of each of these hampers. You see there I have my hand shark vacuum because sometimes when you put the clothes, and I'm sure you know, into the hampers, stuff falls off of them. I have sand in here because my kids have a sand table, little stickers, there's little air acorns where my daughter puts those in her pockets when she finds them. Just all kinds of little things that, you know, need to be vacuumed and cleaned up before I put these clothes back in there. Otherwise, it's just going to pull out with the clothes and get all over the floor, and I don't want them to be dirty anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and put each of these organized darks, colors, whites and towels into each of these bins now. While I have my little hand shark here, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up the floor for anything that may have fallen off. Plus it needs it anyways. If I already have the vacuum, I might as well do it. It will save some work for later on. Just do it all in one session. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside of the laundry area here as well. There are some muddy shoes, so there are some mud chunks for sure that needed to be cleaned up. And I was so happy that I got into the laundry room at this time because I had bought these cute little swimsuits for my girls and I had lost them and they were actually in the bag in the laundry room. So definitely when you clean, you come across things that you have misplaced. I'm pretty organized and I still misplace things. So it always makes me happy when I find them. Feels like I found some treasure in the house. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the dirty shoes into this plastic bag because I just vacuumed and I don't want to set them down and then have more mud chunks on the floor. And while I have my hand vacuum out, I thought, you know what? Let's just vacuum out the lint. It actually worked pretty good. It's the first time I did it. I'm glad I gave it a try. Little bag was just sitting around, so I put all of the leftover dryer sheets that fell out of the dryer as I pulled clothes out into it and also the lint. And I just kept it nearby for later on so I could go ahead and put all of those things that fall out into it then also. So here goes the first load of laundry. These are those dryer bags. I am so excited to try. These also came from Trader Joe's. I have never tried anything like this before, but supposedly you can do up to 50 loads with one dryer bag so it saves a lot of dryer sheets and they smell so good it smelled like a spa i'm serious i'm all about the natural organic spa smells i don't like anything that's highly perfumed it's just not so nice they smell great so i will definitely let you know as we go along if i actually like them and how they worked Now that I have the darks going in the washer and I use the wool light for dark so I'm not concerned about them fading, that stuff works very, very well. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this huge basket of socks. I'm gonna take out all of the socks that don't have match matches out of the top and then everything you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and organize them for whose they are and then get them put away. <laughs> Oh, 
If you are new to my channel, I do have three daughters. I have a teenager, she's 13. I have a three, about to be four year old. And I have a third daughter that is about to be two. So these are actually my youngest daughter's socks right here. And so right now I'm organizing the socks. And of course my three going on four year old is in panties where my one going on two is still in diapers. So I just have one box here of panties and yes I do roll them up I like to color coordinate them as well the best that I can so right now I have like purples blues and I always put pinks off to the side pink is her favorite I wish that they were all pink to be honest because she definitely likes to put up a fight if she runs out of pink ones and then has to go to one of the other colors but whenever I buy them it's literally like a multi-pack like there's always colors in there that are not pink I can't find just a solid pack of pink panties so anyway, that's where we're at with this. I want to share with you guys we finally got the old diaper changing table out of our bedroom it has been in our room since the ikea hall like weeks weeks back i had gotten my two toddler girls a beautiful dresser that pulls the room together they share a room because it is closer to us and I can hear them if anything is wrong I like them both just to share a room because they are so close in age as well anyways I got a dresser that just pulls their room together it's so gorgeous and so nice except for I put the diaper changing table in our room to go ahead and get out all of the items to transfer into the dresser and then it ended up sitting in our room for weeks to be honest but I needed my husband to help me carry it down the stairs because upstairs there's two flights of stairs that leads to the upstairs and then there's also two flights of stairs that goes into the garage so it's a lot of stairs and I needed his help and finally I cleaned it out I caught him at the house and I was like let's get it done I want you to know that those dryer bags are amazing by the way they do smell fresh and organic and natural lavender i absolutely love them so yes i would recommend them if you do not have a trader joe's i will definitely find something on amazon that is very similar and link it in my description box below for you i'm going in now with a second set of darks i ended up doing two set of darks because we're actually um, dark pants with zippers and jackets with zippers and i didn't want them to tear holes in to the more delicate clothes so I just put them in a separate load on their own I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this load of darks that is dry out of the dryer and go ahead and fold it up outside are items that either cannot be dried because they are extra delicate or things that I absolutely do not want faded at all or are made of fleece. I never put fleece in the dryer because it balls up and it is never as comfortable as it was when you first got it.
closet. This is where I put my workout clothes. I do not have a dresser in here. Like I said, it is a spare bedroom. So we have like a closet, but this is next to my Peloton, this dresser drawer or nightstand drawer, I should say. And so I put all my biker shorts and sports bras and workout socks, all of that stuff in this drawer and it's close by. So that's what I do here. I'll probably make some videos in the future of clothes organization, like how I actually organize. I did do a shared toddler closet organization. If you are interested in seeing that, it'll give you an idea of somewhat how I do all of my closets. So if you haven't figured it out yet, it is night. I did already take my shower and I am in my jammies. But I want to go ahead and put out there again, like I had said earlier in this video, if you have a lot of laundry to do and you know that you're about to call it a night, go ahead and put that last load of towels in or a load of towels, anything like that. And then that way you can put it in the dryer because it's totally fine if it sits in there overnight. As long as it's dry, you can get it out in the morning and it doesn't matter if it wrinkles because it's towels. So that is exactly what I did here. Now you're all I ever dream about. Since I saw you, there's no easy way out. Hear me calling out to you. It's all that I can do. I went to work out and after that the washer was done so I went ahead and put those clothes into the dryer and got started with the next round For the colors, I'm going to use the wool light for darks and I am going to dilute the darkness of that laundry detergent with 7th Generation. 7th Generation is another favorite of mine. I love it as well and the reason I'm doing wool light for darks is because I do not currently have wool light for colors and I wanted to go ahead and use that. That way my colors don't fade but the wool light for darks detergent is very very dark so if it falls onto the clothes and the water doesn't get on it quick enough it will leave a stain that is why i diluted it with the seventh generation i'm going to go ahead and lay these pants out here to dry i do not want to dry them i found these zara pants they're originally 50 dollars, and i know that because i looked it up online but i found them at planet exchange for 10 bucks i just happened to go in there just to see what i could find i love doing just random shopping like that uh, and I found those, so I was pretty excited.
Now that the whites are pulled out of the dryer, I am putting that last load of colors into the dryer and I'm going to go ahead and fold up the wipes and go from there. I was going to erase the fact that I literally just said wipes instead of whites if you caught that, but I decided not to. I definitely feel like you can tell that I have three children because I use a lot of wipes and that is the only way that I could think that that is why my mind replaced whites for wipes. and I also wanted to hang out with my girl. This is my teenager. She is 13 years old now and I thought if we could hang out, she could help me fold laundry. She did not mind a bit. We had a good old time. Anytime that I catch her that she's watching a movie or a TV show, it's always the coolest show. At first, I think, eh, I don't know about this one and I always end up really getting into it. She picks the best stuff. Of course, I really don't get to watch TV anymore. I think this is the first time I watched TV in months when I was hanging out and chilling with her, but it happened to be a pretty good movie. I'll put it in the description box below. I don't know it off the bat and it is late actually while I'm doing voiceover and they are sleeping. So I'll definitely put it in the description box. share with you what we're laughing about. This shirt right here, it says Mama Needs Wine. And my four-year-old actually put stickers all over my shirt one night and I put it in the hamper without taking the stick stickers off, I guess. I must have been tired and it washed and dried that way. And that was all the stuff that was stuck to the shirt from like 30 stickers um, being put on there. But it was so ironic that there is like a million stickers all over the shirt and it says Mama Needs Wine. It's so, so funny. Friends, I cannot believe that we are at the end already. This was all of the laundry. I'm so glad that you were here with me, that we did it together. Please do not forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the bell so you get a notification when I have new videos out. I will see you in the next video.